chef mona das and today i'm here with yet another recipe uh, from ihm food studio so today i'll be demonstrating uh, a dish a very, a very classical french preparation called chicken shashir so it is if you want to translate it into english it is basically hunter style chicken so you will see that the sauce uh, that we will be making for this chicken uh, preparation is very crude it is not as fine as how most of the french sauces are so before we move ahead let's have a quick look at the ingredients that we will be using so we have got uh, chicken uh, with skin here okay so we have got chicken uh, with the skin you can uh, get the ch make this chicken without skin also but if it is with skin it tastes better we have got some brown sauce which is one of the classical mother sauces uh, we'll be using butter as a cooking medium salt for seasoning we have got some shallots some thyme fresh thyme we i'm using some curly parsley for the garnish some chopped parsley some garlic chop onions chop a uh, tomato which i'll be making into concas and using it in the dish some quarters of mushroom pepper uh, again for seasoning and i have you i'm using little tomato puree for the color and i'll be using some white wine into the dish so these are the basic ingredients that we will be using for making the chicken shashir with chicken shashir the classical accompaniment that goes is uh, usually rice so you can serve a butter rice or herb rice or pilaf okay along with the chicken preparation so today i will uh, start with the demonstration of the start shashir with... first first and foremost i would be making the tomato concas so for that i'll be using some water because i'll be blanching the tomato so for this i will put some water in the pan for the tomato we are going to remove the eye of the tomato so we will simply scoop out the eye and we are just going to make small intersection at the back so that when we blanch it the purpose of blanching it is to take out the peel of the tomato so making giving a cut at the back helps in removing the skin well so the purpose is just that we are scooping out the we are scooping out the eye of the tomato we'll allow the water to boil completely and just dip the tomatoes in the boiling water for 30 seconds to remove the skin the purpose here is only to remove the skin so we are not going to put the water to boil completely and then we are going to put our tomatoes hmm. so the water is started boiling and now we are going to dip our tomatoes for 30 seconds so we can see now that the skin of the tomato has started coming out we will be dipping it in ice cold water to stop the internal cooking and we will remove the skin so we have removed the skin of the tomato and now we are going to make concas out of it so for this we need to deseed the tomato so we are going to remove the seeds so basically concas is a tomato chopped without the skin and without the seeds and this we will be using to make our sauce for the con uh, for the shashir so we have removed the seeds 
of the tomato and now we are going to start roughly chopping them so we have our concast ready the roughly chopped de-seeded and de-skin tomato so now let's start with the chicken we have to coat the chicken so we have the chicken with the skin here we are going to coat the chicken with some seasoned flour so this is refined flour mixed with salt and pepper so we are going to coat this chicken lightly with seasoned flour keep it aside we have coated the chicken so we have coated the chicken with the seasoned flour and now we need to sear it into the pan so we are taking a pan we'll take some oil and heat the oil really well so that the meat when you are putting in the oil the pores of the meat get closed and at the end the meat remains juicy so for that we need to heat the oil well so the oil is heated now and we are going to put our chicken with the skin side down and sear the chicken from both ends so once one side gets golden brown color turn it over so that the other side also gets seared properly okay so you can see now the chicken has uh, got seared it has got nice golden brown color at this stage we are going to take out the chicken and piece it aside So in the remaining oil we are going to cook the chicken now we will make the sauce so to the oil we will add garlic roughly chopped let the garlic turn a bit brown we will add chopped onions to add some butter so this uh, gravy or sauce is not going to be very uh, smooth that's why the onions and the garlic are also very roughly chopped and we are not going to make them really smooth So once your onion starts turning bit translucent we are going to add the quarters of mushroom Some people prefer adding a whole mushroom if the size is small uh, we can add whole mushroom as well We will add few shallots. So these are the pickled onions. Now at this stage we are going to add the concas that we made earlier. So to this we are adding the brown sauce. the so brown sauce is basically uh, we make the brown roux and then we are going to thicken it uh, we are going to add some brown stock to it play the brown stock has to be made really well with uh, it has to be simmered for at least 6 to 7 hours 
we'll add some tomato puree for the color we'll add seasoning so we add some salt and some pepper we are going to add some fresh thyme we have got some fresh thyme so just break the thyme in so we have added the fresh thyme and now we are going to slowly put our seared chicken pieces into the sauce let the pieces get coated with the sauce and we will cover the chicken so that it cooks so the chicken has been simmering in the sauce for around 6 to 7 minutes now at this stage we will add some chopped parsley and some white wine we are going to cover the chicken back again so that the chicken can cook since the pieces of the chicken are little uh, bigger so it is going to take a bit of time so advisedly it should be cooked with the lid so the chicken is almost cooked now and because of simmering we can see that the color of the sauce has also got enhanced so we are just now going to switch off our flame and now we are going to start presenting the chicken let's start presenting our shashu the garnish i will just put some fresh thyme here and there and maybe a curly parsley to go on the top okay so that's our chicken shashur which is hunter style chicken with goes which goes very well with any kind of rice so here i am serving a buttered rice uh, we can make a ris pilaf or you can serve it with herb rice as well so thank you everybody i hope you all like the preparation